The art of conversation lies in listening, a profound statement by Malcolm Forbes that sets the tone for our discourse today. In an age where communication channels are diverse and abundant, we seem to have lost sight of this fundamental truth. We've become so consumed with formulating our own responses that we've forgotten the importance of truly understanding the words being spoken to us. We are living in a world where we listen to reply, not to understand. And this, dear listeners, is the root of many a misunderstanding and conflict. So what is listening? Listening is more than just hearing words, it's about processing these words, understanding their context and empathising with the speaker. It's about putting aside our own thoughts and prejudices to truly comprehend what's being said. However, a study in psychology today reveals that a mere 10% of us are effective listeners. This means the majority of us are missing out on vital information, misunderstanding others and failing to form meaningful connections. In personal relationships, this inability to truly listen can create rifts between loved ones. When a spouse or a child tries to communicate their feelings or thoughts and is met with hasty replies or dismissive attitudes, it breeds resentment and discord. Without effective listening, the emotional intimacy that forms the backbone of these relationships starts to crumble. In professional environments too, the lack of effective listening is detrimental. Misunderstandings lead to errors, missed opportunities and a toxic work environment. When employees feel unheard or overlooked, their motivation and productivity levels plummet. The ripple effect of this can be detrimental to the success of the entire organization. But the impact of poor listening skills isn't restricted to just our personal and professional lives. It seeps into our overall sense of well-being and happiness. When we don't feel heard or understood, it can lead to feelings of isolation and inadequacy. On the other hand, when we are listened to, it validates our feelings and thoughts, fostering a sense of belonging and self-worth. So, how can we improve our listening skills? Firstly, we must be present in the conversation. This means putting away distractions and focusing on the speaker. Secondly, we must practice empathy. Try to understand the speaker's perspective and feelings. Thirdly, withhold judgment. Allow the speaker to express their thoughts fully before forming an opinion or response. Lastly, ask clarifying questions. This not only shows that you're engaged in the conversation, but also ensures that you've correctly understood the speaker's message. In conclusion, the importance of effective listening cannot be overstated. It's a vital skill that impacts our personal relationships, professional success and overall happiness. By listening to understand, not to reply, we can foster better understanding, avoid misunderstandings and form deeper connections with those around us. Remember, as Stephen R. Covey once said, most people do not listen with the intent to understand, they listen with the intent to reply. Let's strive to change that narrative and become better listeners for a better tomorrow.